we've seen in creating a new .NET MAUI app, we get a main page XAML for our interface as a default with an image, two labels, and a button, and then a C Sharp main page XAML.CS code behind that allows our button to work. Thus far, we have simply made changes to the main page XAML to reflect a new interface and made changes then to the C Sharp code for the functionality of our app. In this video, I want to show you how to add a totally new page and then make that your startup page. So I'm going to right click on my Solution Explorer, come down to Add. We're going to add a new class. I'm going to click on the .NET MAUI over on the left hand side just to eliminate some of the options here. And what we want is a .NET MAUI content page of XAML, it's the second item here. When we do that, we're also gonna get a C Sharp file, code behind file as well. So I'm gonna choose that, I'm gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna call it new page. We'll add that. And we'll see now that in the Solution Explorer, we get a new page XAML and a C Sharp new page XAML.cs. And here then is our XAML file, we get our content page by default, a vertical stack layout, and simply a label that says welcome to .NET MAUI. Now I can begin to build out this new page and add in any XAML code that I want. I'm gonna keep this really simple just for the demonstration of this video. So I'm gonna change this to welcome to my new page. And let's give our page of color. Background color equals I'm going to choose mint cream. And then we go in and change our code behind to do something as needed to make our page function. In the next video, we'll actually create an app with a new page that will be our launch page. If I run this at this point, I'm still getting the familiar Hello World main page as my startup page rather than my new page that I just created. So how do we change that? Well, there's a couple ways. If we were using the shell, and there's advantages of the shell for some navigation purposes that we'll look at down the road, but in the app shell, we can specify the content template that we want to use. And in this case, I could say new page. And let's do the route as new page. I'm going to stop and rebuild, relaunch it onto my emulator. And there then is my new page as my startup page. Again, I'm going to stop. I'm gonna come back here and just simply revert. So I'll do a control Z a bunch of times. Get back to where I was before. The other way to do this is to go into the app XAML.cs. And this is probably the better way to do it, if, certainly if you're not using the shell, is we can say main page equals, instead of app shell, I could say new page. And again, I'm going to run. And there is our new page. Now by not using the shell, I don't get the navigation bar at the top. So this is great for like a single page, or if we want to do some, some just straight navigation between pages changing the target in the app XAML.cs code is a great solution. So the next video, we'll create an app with a new page. And then down the road, we'll also create apps with multiple pages that we'll navigate through using both the shell and using direct navigation. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET My Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.